it's Candy, and today we are going to be doing a no makeup makeup look. That's right. I don't have any makeup on, but I know this seems like kind of counterproductive. And I know in high school, a lot of guys would be like, I love that you don't wear any makeup. And I was like, what? I spent 45 minutes to look like I don't have anything on my face. Like I was clearly putting my makeup on, but apparently I was already killing the no makeup makeup game. So I've been acing that for years. So I'm gonna share with you guys some tips and tricks so you just look kind of flawless. Like just, you wanna step out, put a little something on, so you just look a little less red and blotchy, a little more like you got eyelashes there, and a little more that your brows are doing a little something. So if you guys have not, make sure you click subscribe. Subscribe and join the Candy family, and follow me on Snapchat, Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Go to Twitter and Facebook for inspirational and funny posts. Lots of no makeup and makeup reviews over on my Snapchat, and then Instagram is just mostly I will have the makeup on to give you makeup ideas, maybe some wardrobe ideas, I don't know. So follow me all of those places, and let's get started making us look like we don't have makeup on, but we do. So any guy watching this is gonna be like, what in the world are you watching this video for? But you guys know, you know why you're watching this video. And there will be some guys will be like, yeah, I know too. First, um, I start off just putting my like moisturizing oil on my face, because you always want to put a moisturizer, even if you have dry skin, to kind of even and smooth out the skin, and then your makeup is gonna go on even more flawless on top of that. Okay, so the funny thing is, is like, I love freckles on everybody else. I think they're adorable and cute, but on my face, for some reason, I don't like them. I don't know why. I think they're cute on everybody else. People have been doing fake freckles. So I'm gonna show you guys like the most natural, perfect, but still looking like real skin, seeing some freckles and things like that. And I got inspired because um, Bobby Brown sent me this big box of awesome, awesome makeup. So they send me all of these different, um, their liquid foundations. I'm gonna show you how we're gonna pick these out too. So these are the foundation sticks too. These were also one of the first high-end products I had in my makeup kit when I first started being a makeup artist like 80 million years ago. Bobby Brown's statement even behind it is she wants women to look like their skin is real, but just the most perfect real looking skin and I think that is what's great about this. Also, a lot of times when you go to find foundations, they don't have them in everybody's shade and I think Bobbi Brown's mission has been for a really long time that she doesn't want any woman to go to the counter and not be able to find their shade so there's like 30 shades that you guys can choose from to pick the one that's perfect for you. So I'm gonna let you guys be the judge. What do you think of my skin looking more perfected and bare as it can be? You guys will be the judge, because you know I like me some flawless coverage. And if you guys want some facts on this, this is, it has sunscreen in it. It's hydrating, so it's great for you have um, you know, dry skin to oily skin, this will perfectly blend for everybody, and it's water-based, so all of that is great for ya. We're gonna cancel out all the redness in the skin, this is gonna add hydration to the skin, which is what we want. And if you guys wanna find these, you can get these at Sephora, and a big shout out to Bobbi Brown, thank you for sponsoring this video, sending me all these foundations to try and inspire this look. And um, there's going to be a giveaway, so watch the end of the video because uh, maybe someone's gonna win a foundation also. So let's get started. I'm gonna show you guys how we're going to match these. So I'm gonna take three different shades. We've got warm beige, natural, and beige. So they all look pretty similar, but this is the dilemma when you go into the department store and you're like, what the foundation is going on? So I'm gonna put three different swiperoos of these on my face, give these guys a little shake. I don't know if they need that, but I just feel like shaking helps things. <laughs> so this is warm beige, and we're gonna put him right here in the center. Ooh, he's looking good. He's looking good already. Can you see that? Now we're gonna try just regular beige. Let's put regular beige over here closer to my mouth. Oh boy, regular beige is maybe looking a little better, actually. And then what do we have last but not least? Natural, natural. We're gonna put natural back here near my ear. So I got these three to go from. I'm gonna look the mirror here. Hmm. You want the one that kind of just disappears into your skin, so I'm just going to give these guys a blender just a smidge more. Hmm. What do you guys think? Which of these three do you think goes better? I think it's kind of this front one. We just put regular beige up near my mouth. I think he is the winner. We're just going to put him all over. So for this look, we're just going to put him everywhere like we would a moisturizer. And this, we're still gonna see the freckles and things, but look, lo and behold, it's gotten rid of the redness around my mouth, which is what I don't like. This is fast. You could do this fast just going to run errands in the morning. Once you have your own foundation picked out in your routine, you can 
literally just pump this on your fingers, rub it around your face like you would your moisturizer on top. I'm just doing the carefully placed beauty blender technique. And you could do it much faster. I mean, for me, loving like a really heavy full coverage, I am pretty incredibly impressed. Like it does just look like this is my skin and it just looks perfect. It doesn't look like I have makeup on at all. And it's really light. It doesn't feel heavy or cakey. So this is the key to your perfect foundation. I'm gonna put a smidge down here. Now, if you guys want it to be complicated, not complicated because this is what I do every single day, I always put like a darker shade foundation on also. I am going to be using Warm Almond, it's a foundation stick, and it's quite a bit darker, but I'm just gonna take it to do like a little bit of, a little contour to give a little glow to the face because we're not gonna be using uh, much else. Ah, what the, what, what the heck, we'll just do it on the nose too right up there. If you guys haven't seen my contouring video, I have one called How to Contour Like a Contouring Artist. And it really does teach you, there's a lot of things online showing you one way to contour for a face and that doesn't work because each of our faces have different shape and structure. So in the video I kind of go into that and I'll put a link below if you guys want to master the art of that. So this is just going to give you a little bit of color and a little bit of glow on the face and it's really just gonna give you that perfected skin look. I mean, this is crazy because like, I can see my freckles and I'm not hating. I am not a freckle hater right now. We need our regular beige. And we're just going to put a little bit more on my nose. I mean, it's not settling into any lines. It's like kind of plumping up the skin. Whoops, almost forgot about that. That would have been weird. You could also take, I have the lighter stick and if you wanted to do underneath the eye, this is an area where I would kind of pay attention to and then the eyelids because that skin is so thin and it gets like purpley. I use a little bit of a lighter shade just to do the under eye area. If you don't have under eye circles, you could totally skip this part, but sometimes some of us didn't get to sleep too much. Now, you can set this with powder if you want to, if you're gonna do an eyeshadow look or something like that. I'm just gonna use Sheer Finish Pressed Powder in Pale Yellow. So I'm just going to dab this underneath the eye and on the eyelids. Whenever you're doing a no makeup um, makeup look, you want to keep it light. I'm gonna just dab the eyebrows because I'm gonna fill them in and I want them to be dry. I don't want them to be oily with foundation. And like if your nose is oily or whatever, you don't have to like set the whole face unless you have like those kind of spots where you wanna do that. If you wanna do, this is optional for no makeup where you may be like, that's too many steps, I'm not gonna do that. This is from Too Faced, it's the Chocolate Soleil bronzer and I love it because it smells like chocolate and I'm just going to dab it here on the sides. You also totally don't have to do this at all. You can just move along right past this step. And also you could go ahead and use a cream blush which is what you'd wanna do if you want a more dewy, glowy blush look but I'm gonna use this powder, it's Stay Pretty from MAC and I'm just going to dab him right here just so we get a little bit of a flushed glow. Beautiful. Now I'm just gonna use like a nude color eyeshadow. This is the Eye University for my brown. I got this in the box they sent me too and I just kind of love these colors. So I'm just gonna take ivory, this light color, and I'm just gonna sweep that under the brows for a light color. And you could skip this. You could just do powder right here too and then sweep it on down. And then this palette I really love. It's the Nude on Nude palette. And I'm just gonna take this color in, <laughs> but what would it be called, but nude? And I'm just going to sweep that on to my eyelid like so for that nude kind of eye. And then you don't have to do this. You could just put your mascara on now, but I'm gonna take this nude color and a little bit of this cement shade and I'm gonna go right underneath our lash line just to give it like a little depth at our lashes without actually putting any eyeliner on. So we're just putting like, it's kind of like a warm, warmy gray tone. It's just gonna give like definition there without being like an eyeliner. So it's still gonna look like, oh, you have this beautiful nude bare eye. And then I'm going to curl my lashes because that makes the biggest difference in the world. If you are not doing that, you need to start curling your lashes. Whoops, we went a little crazy over on that side for a bit. And then I'm gonna take the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara, which is one of my favorites. Whoa, can you see the difference? These lashes are like sticking up and these are not. I have to make them curled. I have to get closer to the roots and then do it. Closer to where they're growing out is what I meant to say. There you go, there you go, lashes. Then I'm just gonna apply a couple coats of this. The great thing about this mascara is it really does make it look like you have really thick and long 
lashes. Okay, so I'm gonna go back in and I'm gonna do the bottom lashes after this dries. But let's do a little bit of brows while we're waiting. And for this, I have been trying something new, which I heard about. So this is from MAC. It's dipped down the Pro Longwear Fluid Line. And I'm gonna take this and my angled brush. It is a little more fluid than most brow products. So I'm just going to fill in my brows really lightly. My eyebrows are like black and this is like a brown. So it's a little warmer. That's the one thing, like anytime I do a no makeup look, I always make sure that my, just having your brows done will make the biggest difference. And you just do little light sketchy strokes. You're just filling in the spaces. It's kind of like if your eyebrows were connect the dots with little dashes, you're just filling them in and making them look more angular and noticeable. For me, I like this inner corner more, more defined and then I just give him a brush around like so. And I do like that this is a little more warm than my darker eyebrows that are just like black. This is just like a dark brown. Ta-da! I've got eyebrows! Okay, now I'm gonna take our mascara and we're gonna do our lower lashes. Now a tip when you wanna make your eyebrows look more softer is just take your powder and your little beauty blender sponge and you just dab right on top of the brows that you just did. And this is going to diffuse the color and soften and light them just like you would if you have like your blush or something that's too dark and you'd go back over with the powder to soften it, that will work too. So now our finishing touch the piece there is a stomp is going to be our lips, which we also want to look nude. And I am looking for my nude lip liner because I love me a lip liner even if I'm doing a no makeup makeup look. Gotta define those babies. So this is Perfect Spice from Too Faced. And I'm just going to line the edges like so. And I love to overline, so we're doing that. You guys know that I love me a liquid lip, but a liquid lip is hard to do with a no makeup look because it does look like your lips have been painted a color. Um, I do love this. This is from Tom Ford, it's called Chastity. Look at this pink, look at this dreamy pink. I love this color. And then you just put this on. So it almost just looks like, like the most amazing, exquisite, tinted lip balm. And then you just dab it right on top the lip liner so it doesn't look like you've got lip liner on. And if this even feels too heavy, you can blot it off. And that's it guys, this is our no makeup makeup look. You don't wanna do any crazy, like crazy highlighting things because then it looks like, well, very noticeable because highlighting highlighter is noticeable. And you'll be like, well, yep, you do have a lot of makeup on. So what do you guys think? I know you guys can see like freckles and things. Do we love it? Do we hate it? What do we think? I really am impressed. Let me get my mirror back out. I feel like this looks really dewy and glowy. My final thoughts are I can see my freckles and I kind of love them actually. And it got rid of like some of the spots that I don't like and it definitely got rid of all of the redness. So I will say it does look like this is my natural skin and it just looks really perfect. Like as perfect as my natural skin can look which is kind of amazing. Like it looks like I just have really perfect skin and no makeup on, but I have makeup on. Let me know some other just quick makeup looks or other things you guys would wanna do. And what is your final result, guys? What do you think of the more bare skin candy? Leave your comments below what you think. And Bobbi Brown is offering 20 lucky winners their skin foundation SPF 15 and skin foundation stick in their shades. Enter to win at bobbybrown.com. Comment below if you're excited, comment below if you like this makeup look, all those kind of things. Um, and follow me everywhere. And as always, huge hugs from my house to yours. I will see you guys in the next video. Mwah!